Hang on. Are we live yet? Oh, we're live. Time. All right. I'm going to hit the video. Doing it. Right? Do it. Welcome to What We Watch When We Drink, a Booze Dancing Entertainment Network podcast featuring lively discussions about movies, TV shows, and anything else that we're watching while we drink our favorite boozy beverages. If you enjoy this show, please subscribe on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, Google, Audible, and anywhere else you get your podcasts. You can also find us on boozedancing.com. And if you have any questions, comments, show or drink suggestions, email us at boozedancing at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Hey, we're live. We are live. We are Welcome, live. everyone. It is a, you know what I would like to say? It's a incredible whiskey Wednesday. Get it? Do you get I it? I do. Yeah. I do. I get it. I get it. I get I, it. I like it. This is the it. Booze Dancing Entertainment. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Booze Dancing Entertainment Network. We are live. We are live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Starlink in Ukraine. Um, where else? Instagram. Instagram. Uh, anywhere else? Right here. NBC, in our rooms. A- NBC ABC, CBS, uh, and the Fox Broadcasting System. By the way, you know what? Absolutely. By the way, Hulu has Booze Dancing. And on. CBC. Hulu. What? Hulu. I was going to say, don't forget CBC. Yeah. And, and we're on CBC. To... CBC 1, 2, and 3, I believe. And, they... and, and Radio Canada, for those of you who are bilingual. <laughs> That's right. We, oh. we did the French version. It's really good. Oh, oh, the French oh, version yeah. of the show <laughs> is way better than the English version. Way and, better. Oh, by the way, because Giannis went down, we got the Hulu deal. So. Oh. oh, awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, we awesome. Got, we got the that's great. Thing, so. Yeah. So we are, I don't even know what episode this is. We are live with um, a special guest and a special um, show tonight. Uh, th- this thing is episode 46. Is that right? I believe this so. is episode Sounds like 46, right? Um, we are back together for quite a one. Little, we had a little hiatus. We had some uh, network issues. And now we are back. And we are here with a good friend. All the ways from a distant, another country, actually. Another country. Um, another time zone. Another, another, another time, time zone. zone. Another country. Yes, yes, yes. And, and also another language some, at points. She's yeah. practically um, otherworldly. Otherworldly. Very, very, yeah, worldly. So we are welcome, welcoming to the show again, kind of like the fourth Marx brother, right? Um, oh. Joanne McGinnis. I shaved my Whiskey mustache lab. and everything. Come on. Uh, well, <laughs> That's a big assumption that you're Groucho, but that's okay. Um, hey, you pick a fine time to uh, to freeze up. I'll tell you. Me? No. Our our dear friend Mickey. Mickey? Oh, Mikey's frozen. Mr. Incredible. Mikey's frozen? No, Mikey's not frozen. Nobody's oh frozen. no, you're fine now. You were frozen a little oh. while ago. I was just very still. She's oh. got the heater on. It's fine. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> Ms. McGinnis, how are you? Welcome to the show again. How are Thank you? you? How how am I? I'm fantastic. I'm still uh, I'm still reeling, I think, or or self absorbed in the full uh, totality of the of the solar eclipse we experienced two days ago. Oh, how was it? You saw it. You were right there. We were. We had the best place in North America to see it. It was amazing. Wow. Yeah. Was it weird? Was the weather clear? It was, we had zero where I was, we had no clouds in the sky. We had 100% totality. We had uh, very little light pollution. The temperature went from about 68 Fahrenheit down to close to 32 in a oh matter my God. of seconds. Yep. It was That's really wacky. cool. Uh, pitch black with only like uh, the horizons when we, when we were kind of on a hill. So we, I almost had like a 360 degree view, which was really cool. So the horizons were like bluish orange, like at sunset or dawn. Everything else went black. Um, birds stopped singing. And Did dogs and cats fight? Thing. No. No, 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 no weird animal stories beside no, the birds. No weird animal stories. We had some guy from California who was quite interesting. Uh, he was probably hmm. the weirdest animal I met that day. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, was it, it a big, was, it was a big communal experience, I'm sure. There was 20 of us. at. We went to a distillery. Actually, I'm drinking the whiskey. It's called Moonshine Creek. Very, very appropriate. Oh. Oops, hold on. There you oh, go. Very appropriate. Moonshine Creek whiskey. Yeah. yeah. How cool. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was quite an experience. California did not have that kind of uh, totalitarianism. 
How about you boys? Did you guys see? Oh, Angel, I know you didn't see it. You didn't even know about it. No, I knew about <laughs> it. I watched my window darken as I was on a, on a Zoom meeting. So it was nothing. Good Mike? A lot of cloud cover. It was nothing. Yeah, it wasn't good. Nothing. Yeah. That was the right. report from uh, my, my youngest. He said, yeah, no. Couldn't really see it. Wow. Well, you got another 75 years. How many? 75. Is it 75 years? Next oh, one? Yeah, the next one's in like 2079 or something like that. Sure, we'll see that. Go to Alaska, you'll see it. Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a once in a lifetime thing. Like, it truly is. And uh, I got to see it when I was about five years old in northern New Brunswick. And I was with my dad. My mother was petrified. My brother was going to look up. So they went in the house. It was just my dad and I. We were looking through an old welder's helmet. And all I really remember is dad kept like passing it to me and it was huge on my head. So I was trying to hold it up as a five-year-old. But the was thing that really was interesting is when it happened, my father got very emotional. And when he tried to explain it to me, because I was freaked out that my dad was crying and everything was black and everything was going on. Um, he said he, for him, it was like seeing the eye of God. Now you have to realize he was a, a, an Italian man that was raised French Italian. So very religious. And I remember thinking at the time, like as a five-year-old, I was just freaking out that my dad was crying and he was talking about the eyes of God. So you could just imagine, but, but this time around, I got it because there's a picture that I took in particular. It does actually look like a giant eye in the sky and it is really freaky. So I was like, I get it. I get it. Eye in the sky, big giant eye. Uh -huh. I'm glad you got to experience that. That was awesome. Were you, yeah. were you afraid well, of getting smitten where you think the, the smiter was up there to Blot people out. That's the, well, that's the people we have was, down here. We need to repent for the earthquakes and yeah. the, the eclipses. I was just going to say, if there was a rapture, I was omitted. I was not on the bullet train. Uh, I didn't get to go anywhere. And I, you know, we just, I lived just the way I lived uh, before and after and, and still. So uh, I wasn't a chosen one, apparently. Yeah, next time. Good. Next, next time, time. Sure. Sure. 50 years from now. Sure. Sure. sure, 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 sure. Well, we are kindly, uh, we are very appreciative of you joining us tonight for a very fun evening. Uh, I remember, the, folks, um, this will be down, this will be a podcast in a few days, possibly, that you can download and listen at your awesome. own uh, peril. And um, we are talking about a movie that I don't even know how this one came up in our in our discussions, but I, I am just so happy that we're doing this movie. It is The Incredibles. I don't even know what year this was from. What year was this? 2004. From? 2004. 2004. 20 years ago. It's the 20th yeah. anniversary. It's just the 20th about. anniversary of, oh, just about, of Ooh, you know what? The Incredibles. November 5th. Maybe they'll re release it in the theater. I would love to see it in the theater. That'd be cool. It's going to come. Oh, for 12. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I don't know. I'm just wondering. I don't know. 20th anniversary. Oh, they up. might. Oh, right, right. They might. Yeah. Um, so we got the Incredibles, and we all have some sort of whiskey, I assume. We do. Some we sort do, of spirit. We do, we do. Shall we pour and our first maybe, drink? Yeah, why don't we all pour us our first drink, and then we'll go around the room, and we'll talk about what our drink is, and then we'll get into this uh, little uh, Pixar flick. Okie dokie. And we'll start. Ladies, ladies first. first. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> ah, don't. Bam. I knew somebody And it starts it. early. It starts early. <laughs> and this is why we need to build the wall. That's all, is, um, oh, That's all I'm oh, saying. Oh, 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 my God. Build a seawall wall or just a wall? We'll make Mexico pay for it. I don't well, know, I don't think they will. you know, you, you could make Trump pay it with all those Bibles he's selling. Just saying. That's right. They could, they could just stack the Bibles up and make a wall. They could try Pretty that. Much. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, what, sitting am I inventory somewhere. what am I drinking? I am drinking oh, that... a whiskey that's made right here in the province that nice. I live. It's a Canadian rye whiskey. Um, aged in virgin oak barrels. The distillery has only been around for about six or seven years, and uh, they make a beautiful rye whiskey. They make a great rum. They are just starting to make gin. They refuse to make vodka, which is another reason why I love them so much. And uh, it's called Downriver Whiskey. This is from Batch One, one of the very first batches. I was lucky enough wow. to get a bottle, and uh, I've been supporting them pretty much ever since they opened their doors. So, oh, very nice. Yeah. Cheers to how far, how far is that from your home? It's about two hours. It's really not that far oh. as far as the, like we don't travel close. in miles per hour. We travel in time. So it's about 120 miles. Oh, there we go. That's okay. <laughs> what, that's what's nice. The AB, what's the ABV? 
47 percent. there we go yeah. Right. yeah it's nice michael michael what do you got i have uh the, the bottom of a bottle of kataka greek so i'm finishing Ooh. that up so this was uh batch number 21 a07 this is their uh small barrel virginia rye whiskey and it's at 40 percent. oh very nice um gilo what you got violet i am violet <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Violet. Uh, sorry, Violet. ma'am. Tonight I'm Violet. Thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, we were given a bit of an assignment. We went out to dinner with some friends a couple about a month ago, and our dear friend Rob handed me a couple of bottles and said, uh, "You guys need to review this." And I thought he already tried it, but he didn't. So he gave me two unopened bottles. They are the number one and number two whiskeys on the 2023 uh, Whiskey Advocate. So I'm starting with number two. I may have should have started with number one now that I saw the ABV. It's a Highland Park S strength batch number four. Clocks in at 64.3%. So wow. we're going to go big, but I'm already home. So you're already home. Okay. Right. You're home. All right. And I have a 21-year-old Ardmore from the single malts of Scotland, 50.2%. This is uh some sample that Sam Filma sent us, I believe, that I got somewhere. So, cheers, all. Cheers. Uh, and ready? Clink. Ready? ready. That wasn't so bad. No, that was bad. pretty good. Not too bad. We, we, nobody, we didn't fail that way. We broke anything. That was also no almost in unanimity. That was. Correct. Yes. That's, fr that's and French it, and for all together. That's right. Yes. For all together. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So, Ange, why don't you give us the rundown, the little synopsis of the and, movie? Uh, and after we, uh, yeah, and then we'll start getting into this whiskey a little bit. It, well, you know, they had those long synopsis. Synopsi. I went with yes, the very, very short one. I went with the very short synopsis. It is literally one sentence. While trying to lead a quiet suburban life, a family of undercover superheroes are forced into action to save the world, just like us. Exactly. See, she gets it. Hey, Joe, what? can you like reach across the border and slap Mike? Absolutely. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, other way. Other way. Other way. <laughs> there you go. Go on. Why? Why all this? Because <laughs> she's just, level with you. I figured it's easy. Push, just push my head into the mash tun behind me. Just... <laughs> nice. That, that that is a yeah. short synopsis. That's a really good. That's a very Succinct, S short. S it's very succinct. Yes, succinct, um, succinct, to the point. And the movie's and the movie's much more than that, isn't it? It's it's oh, it's incredible. Yeah. It is, you know, it is incredible. It it's really incredible. is. It really and is every incredible. time I watch it, I appreciate it more and more. I don't know how many times I've seen it. A dozen, maybe. Well, what what's funny is I probably heard it more than I've seen it because it was always like the road trip movie. So kids in the back seat watching the movie and listening to it, and the dialogue is spectacular. Mm, it is. But the, the and the music is spectacular. Well oh, the music is awesome. There's, I'll, we'll get to the factoids. There's a few factoids about the music. Factoids. Factoids. Oh, really? That'll that will be interesting. I, well, you know, it, this is Pixar, right? So there's there's hidden gems in this movie, like all their movies, um, all of throughout the movie, and. Uh, from little things on the side of the road to signs, signage, it's there's all kinds of stuff, and I'm sure that the music is part of that as well. Um, where do you want to start? Where do you want to start talking about this movie? It it has so many. Forget the cast for a minute. Oh, well, you know, I think I was going to say, why don't we, we start with the cast? But well, I was going to say, I don't think we've done an animated movie, have we? Nope. I don't think we <gasps> have. Right. <gasps> nope. I don't think I'm trying to think. I don't think we have. So this is kind of fun, right? Mm -hmm. So. It's really easy to think of this movie as a movie that's not animated. Yeah. Right? It it's this is like this is just a well-made movie. Forget the fact that it's cartoon. Yes. Right? Yeah, it's and it's it does it's people when they're just really colorful and they're yeah. kind of oversized or undersized. It's just amazing that this can be such a incredibly well-crafted film. And it's a cartoon. I, sh I don't want to demean cartoons and animation, but you don't even think about it. It's just beautiful. Like a lot of Pixar movies are, I should say. Well, this is pre-Disney. 
This is the pre Disney takeover. It's pre Disney. Yes, it is pre Disney. Yes, this and is actually, uh, Steve you know Jobs, what? right? Why, why, before I forget, there was one thing. You know, like in the beginning, but before he goes to the before he goes to get married, and where he saves that guy that's gonna that jumps off the building. Right. You know, yep. I would. I wonder if they could have said that the guy was trying to commit suicide if it was a Disney backed movie. You think Probably they would have got away with that? No, if it not, was two, not in, in two thousand four. Not in two thousand four. No. Maybe today, and there's a disclaimer in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> Probably there would be. Yeah, but I I, I didn't never really thought about it till today, and then I'm watching it. I'm like, oh, I wonder yeah. if Disney. I I didn't know when the when the buy was, because it's a very adult movie. Yeah, and the whole ridiculous lawsuit against him, where Mr. Sansui, Mr. Sansui didn't yeah. want to be saved. Mr. Sansui didn't ask to be saved. Where, you know, if this was Disney, they would not be going on and on about. No, you know, no. If it's a Disney suicide, movie, you should not only have. the mom is allowed to die, yeah. and oh. leave the kid an orphan. Yes. And then you know everybody's got to pick up the pieces after mom dies. I love so, the yeah. analogy. So true. So, so true. So Disney is more about you know matricide. As so if it was a woman committing suicide, he would have missed. Maybe. Maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe. That's a possibility. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, it's just, you so know, it, it, it's just a, um, you know, there's so many just common elements that we see in films. Uh, and, but it's, it's a super, it's a superhero mo movie, but it's not a superhero movie. Right. It's it's about a guy struggling in his middle middle manager life and like wants us. to get that like us and wants to get that excitement back in his life and he's uh he's like got us. kids like us he's got kids and <laughs> no dog <laughs> and uh how does he how does he get that back you know he doesn't want to be average anymore like he's been for the last x number of years so what does he do and he gets he take goes on an adventure. Is that what it's all about? It's going on an adventure. Yeah. Yeah. And he, and it takes him to this crazy place and it it makes him a better person. It makes his family better, it makes the family stronger. Um it's just a it's just a great path, path and journey that he goes on. I think it basically the moral is that uh, your spouse should indulge whatever midlife crisis you're involved in and just jump right in. <laughs> Hands down. Whatever it is, you know, it's make everybody better. Go ahead. I've been telling my wife, I've been saying be to my wife, you really should be buying more vinyl records. And she doesn't pay, pay attention. I don't know. She doesn't want to do that. No. How many do you have? No, she doesn't want to do that. How many? Do you have? Uh, I don't know. 1,500 or something like that. Oh, is that all? Yeah, a little, little oh, less. Wow. Yeah. Is that all you got? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay, All right. but I, and I'm sadly buying more. And uh, someone, I want, so I want a partner in this crime. Hey, should I and interject? That's, interject, I interject away. Fact, interject factoids as we go. Go sure. for it. Okay. Hey, here, here's one. Here's, number one. Here's a good one. Here's a good okay. boozy one. During oh. development, vill villain Bon Voyage was named Bon Perignon, but the famous champagne maker would not provide legal rights for the use of the name. However, <laughs> wow. So the name was changed. That's, That's what the internet yeah. says. That's what the internet says. Great so, uh, go, go. Let's get some numbers. Talk. Is it two thousand four? Yes. When? What did? It, what did it do on the box office? Okay. So, release date November fifth, two thousand four. Budget ninety two million dollars. Gross box office USA and Canada two hundred and sixty one point four million dollars. Opening weekend USA and Canada seventy and a half million dollars. Gross worldwide. Give me a number. Give me a number. Price is right rules. Closest without going over. Oh, uh, mm, uh, 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 a lot of money. Okay. The $1. That's my final answer. Next. <laughs> Five. 500. 500? 500. Aaron? You're muted. $1 billion. I think it's a billion dollar movie. Oh, you went over. You lost. Six hundred and thirty one six hundred and thirty one point oh, seven million dollars. It'll get there. So I think it was a hit. It'll get to a billion. Re release. I think it's a hit. Re release. That's how you get you, you Disney. Gotta make, to pay. You gotta make two times the cost of the production to be a, a well, they made to break even, right? They made six times with, the cost of production. With film math, right? Yeah. So that would be seven Plus times. The, and it it uh brought a, a, a sequel, right? Yes. Yeah. Twenty and years later, right? What, like Fifteen what, years later? Yeah. Was that long? 
Really? Yeah, I think it was. So. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. No. Which was also really good. Huh. I liked it too. Um, well, wasn't I didn't it the highest that... selling DVD too at some point? It seems to Which one? The Incredible. I doubt it. The Incredible. I got mine. I got mine. I may even have it on Blu ray. I might even have two or three of them actually because the kids yeah. would have watched yeah, it. Yeah, so we much. have them too. Well, it's funny because the first time I tried to watch it, I kind of I fell asleep, but I was watching it at home. So I didn't go to the theater, but then, you know, you watch it and it's like, oh my God, this is so good. So good. So let's talk um, characters or and okay. maybe cast. The cast, um, okay. Casting characters. So it's funny when we talked about this for, a, and I have not seen it for a while. I thought of John Goodman, not Craig T. Nelson. That he really? the lead. Yeah, I don't know why. Hmm. But then it's oh wait, it's Craig T. Nelson. Yeah. And where's Craig T. Nelson now? Uh I don't know. That's Waiting for the residual checks. Well, I mean, oh, he, did, no. he did incredible too. He was in the second one. Yeah. He, he's on Young Sheldon. He's on Young Sheldon. Oh, he, he's on Young Sheldon. I did not know that. He is. Oh, okay. So he's still right. working. He's okay, good for he's, him. He's Mima's love interest, and it's quite wow. uh, interesting. But he is great as dad. He is great as Bob. He is. He plays the sad sack so well, and the guy who's looking for adventure, and, um, and just can't go out of the house fast enough, right? And he's got a great and voice too. Yeah, he's got a great voice for the anybody character. Else. Can't imagine anybody else at all. Like I've tried. I've tried in the past. Um, who who were some of the other actors that had possibly tried out for it? And I and I kept saying to myself like yeah no 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 it's the it's the sarcasm that just rolls yeah. out which is just yes. it's so good because if you watch he's, Coach I mean that was he was, was in, yeah he's same. basically the same guy with superpowers yeah he's, right. it's just so good that's right yeah um yeah he's got this a deadpan yeah. um delivery and he but he can raise his voice really well and uh, he's got the the sympathetic dad thing down and the the doting husband thing down, but he's so good as the middle manager, as oh, the, the the guy behind the desk thing. He is so funny and so sympathetic to like that little old lady and um, whisp whispering to her like the the keys of the city. <laughs> All the things that supposed to. Yeah, yeah, not the. That's right. And it's, um, and it's his fault that they're penetrating the bu bureaucracy. They're penetrating the bureaucracy. Yeah. And yes. you know, and yeah. sometimes he just feels like the maid. He just cleaned up this place. <laughs> Can't you just can't, keep it for can't the world minutes? stay safe for two days? My <laughs> God, five minutes. Yes. Um, the, and we, we go back for a second. He he. We got this backstory that he, there was all these uh, superheroes out there, mm -hmm. but then there was a lot of liability issues. Ooh, and right. the government shut them all down, which is so that that whole storyline alone is like, you know, there's been there's there's articles about this movie that it's very libertarian because it, you know, it's not about it's not making everyone special. It's being special on your own and it's fighting the graph of, of or the, the the big sinister government. And there's it's it hits home on so many levels and how government just like, you know, takes it something good and just destroys it and gets rid of it. Right. And then, Oh wait, we, we figured out our mistake. So 20, you know, 10 years later, they've got to bring them back and uh, we'll take them back. And the, his son has to, you know, be, you know, pushed aside and not allowed to like Excel. Hey, what's wrong with excelling? Excelling is good. And there is, it's just, a, it's great on that level too. On this, uh, I think someone's on a soapbox. larger social level. I think someone just got on the Sorry? soapbox. You want a soapbox? I, I, I like the fact that it answers all the questions that any comic book or Marvel movie you've ever seen. Where these yeah. heroes move, come in, they save the day, but there's billions of dollars worth of damage. Right. And they just look, yeah. Yes. Well, okay. that's always the case. I'm going yes. go to go back to the Avengers. Now. I'll see you later. You know, when the, the aliens Avengers. come down and all that good stuff. Yeah. Well, the, the damage in movie, damage in, uh, in animation movies <laughs> is a whole topic, like uh, the Coyote and Roadrunner movies. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and it never really is solved. You know, it just happens. It just is. Um, you know, you defy the laws of gravity. You defy the laws of uh, uh, replacement cost. <laughs> you just uh, yep. sorry for the sun there, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, yes, is that a solar uh, eclipse? 
It's an Aaron. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting it from my garage here. It's, it's the Aaron kind of beaming in. Is what it yes, is. Aaron Eclipse. So I, I I love the way it works on that level too. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. we got away from the the cast here. Um, oh, and Holly Hunter, the great Holly oh, Hunter. Oh, she's fantastic. They yeah. were together, she, weren't they? In the Family Stone together. Mike, you I don't would know, know this. No. no, weren't they? Or one of those no. movies, or one of those like holiday movies where they're like in Keaton. Her, oh, was it Diane her, Keaton? Craig T. Nelson? Really? I was, I was, uh, maybe oh, I got it wrong. Cool. Okay. All right. Craig T. and Diane Keaton. See, Mike is our walking IMDb. He knows these things. Well, I've watched a lot of crappy movies, so <laughs> that's one of them. It's the Cliff Clavin of crappy movies. Got it. Uh, Holly's great. Yay. She's fantastic. <laughs> I, I always liked Holly Hunter. And of course, and of course, the great Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Interestingly, doesn't have, you know, I remember, I thought his part was bigger. It's kind of small. Yeah, but, you know, he's but, got a little bit in the beginning, and then it's a family movie, but right. but he's he comes in the end to save the day and help save the day. But as usual, though, um, he, he has a he leaves he a nails it. impression. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, he does. Yes, and, he and the interplay so between funny. him and his normal wife is almost well, you as never seen as yeah. the interplay between the two superheroes who marry. Correct, yes, she's great. Whoever, who is that character? Uh, Kimberly we... Adair Clark. I was just going to look her up. I'm like, who is Kimberly, Kimberly Adair, Clark? Adair Clark? What is her name? Honey or something? In it? Yeah, honey. Yep, honey. 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 Yeah, honey. honey now, yes. is she also a super? <clears throat> you got kind of get the impression uh, she's not. But yeah. Uh, Kimberly she's been Adair. in a few things Monsters, University, Monster, Monster, University, Brave, uh, Toy Story 3, Finding Nemo, Ratatouille. Huh. Right. To she reprised the royal again, role again in 2018 sequel. Okay, all right. So yeah. I guess well, she's because yeah, So it's an interesting cast because you've only got Craig Nelson, Holly Hunter, Samuel Jackson, Jason Lee, and what Wallace Shawn are the only real name people that you would know. Elizabeth right, right. Pena, maybe Brad Bird, maybe um, it's you might Pena. know, but everyone else. Pena. Um, but everyone else, they're just voice actors and actresses, which you know, we we don't give them enough attention um because we never see them. Right. And they are they carry all of these movies so far because there's only there's only usually this is kind of the case, there's only so many big names, and the whole the rest of the cast is all these amazing people who just talk into a microphone into with a that's their job. You know, yeah. um, I have a friend who's one and uh, it they they are really a, amazing, talented people who uh, who carry these movies in a lot of ways. That's really if, if I was ever going to do any kind of acting, that's really what I would want to do, because I certainly don't want to be on camera because we have. Yeah, you know, we yeah. have faces we don't for want audio. That. We don't want that either. Yeah, um, definitely. Thanks. We, Thanks, we, Thanks a lot. Yeah, sure. We have faces for podcasts. Um yeah, I think uh, the the other people in this movie um, are just so good. My my on screen name here is uh, Kari McKean, who's the um, the, the babysitter, babysitter. <laughs> who is she's amazing. And and one amazing. of my favorite things, which is which isn't in the movie, it's actually in the short about uh, Jack 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 Jack. Yeah, there is she is so funny in the in the short, and I highly recommend it. Um, you can get it off Disney Plus, and I think it's probably on YouTube. It's she is so great that actress who That's, she probably needs a her name set here. What is her name? Jack Jack, Jack Attack, right? Yeah, I think that's what it's Jack called. Attack. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember that one. Uh, uh, Brett, Brett Book Parker. Parker. Yeah, Parker. she is great with the, with a, with a mouthful of um, dental uh, yeah. oh. braces, braces and you, some some yeah. serious <laughs> serious metal work there. Serious. Yes, yes. I, I highly recommend. I watched it again this morning. The, uh, the the that short is so good about what what happens during um, the phone call when uh, what's her name is calling her from wherever she's calling. Mom is calling Holly Hunter, and yes, uh, and there's then something wrong with then, Jack Deck. Yeah, and there's and <laughs> so you see what so you see what happens with Jack Deck in that time, mm -hmm. and then it's all her retelling this to the uh, to the government guy, whatever his name is. And she's just sitting there holding up a mirror, deflecting all of the, the beams. Yes, deflecting all the shots. Uh, yes, all the uh, all the fire and stuff. <laughs> she's a great babysitter, and we right. don't care enough. Yes. Hey, um, hey, question for you: How are the yeah. drinks? Oh my gosh! 
Uh, this, so you know, it's okay. Ardmore was so good. It's Moorish. Oh, yeah, it's it's Moorish. Ardmore. I Moorish? forget about Ardmore. Oh, it's Ardmore. Like whiskey. It's very Ardmoreish. No, it's wanting get... Moorish for me. It's yeah. wanting oh, Moorish. It's okay. Moorish, <laughs> as in I could have Moorish. Moorish. I am moving on while we're we're mooring Moorish. Hey, look, my am, I'm having whiskey. an. I have an Altmore 30. Ooh. Single cast nation Altmore 30. Ooh la la. Um, that's my next one. Ooh la that's la. French for wow. That is French for wow. That's right. Wow. Um oh, so back to our characters. Our, our, our. So yeah. we there's one big one we haven't talked about. Okay. Who's Mr. Jason Lee? Yes. Buddy Pine. Mm -hmm. Who is just so good you know yes. he is so funny he's sarcastic he's mean irritating. he's irritating he's selfish he's arrogant all those things and his voice is so perfect for this character because his voice sounds like a little kid always right yeah. and he starts off as a little kid and he grows up to be a annoying little kid and um it and ruthless and doesn't care. And, you know, he is so perfect for this role. Slightly He's narcissistic, funny. maybe. No, a just little bit. bit. Just, just a little. A wee bit. A wee he bit. even comes up with his own backstory. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I forgot yes. about that. <laughs> I am your ward. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, oh. go home. <laughs> Buddy. And then he creates this like octum. Was that like what's that from? What a movie is that? Was a Batman movie or a Spider Man movie? That that four legged thing, um, the, the robot. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. What is that thing called? Does it have a name? Ro robot. Four legged robot thing. Robotnik. I don't know. I don't know. Is it like Doc Ock? Like Doc Ock. Yeah. Like with the arms. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like Doc Octopus. And they make that. They make his world. His, the his Omnidroid. Lair. The Omnidroid. The Omnidroid. The Omnidroid. They make his lair to the island. This island of Dr. Moreau. So good. It is so well done. It is. It's it's very it's bondish. And actually, some of the music reminded me of some of the Bond music. Like there's one where there's I can't I, I tried to find the clip. I couldn't find it. Um but it's like all the strings. There, there's a couple like really like mm -hmm. when, Yeah. It, it, yeah. it was very, very, very Bond. Oh, here's another little factoid. Speaking of the music, um, when he's coming back after him and Frozone's little adventure through the fire, and he's humming yep. a tune, I didn't realize it. What is it? He's humming the it? Incredibles theme. What? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I never noticed that either. <laughs> I know. I was. I read the notes, and then I read them. Like, oh my god, he is. It was hysterical. It was hysterical. I have to go see. I have to go back and and watch it now. Hmm. Again. Hmm. One of my favorite parts of this movie is the the look of it. The this this nineteen this retro nineteen fifties early sixties look to the house to the street. It could be it does, It's not Florida, but it could be Florida of that era. Um, the angular angularness of the furniture, um, even the office buildings, it's got mid century that kind of, modern, yeah, mid century, very mid century. Right, right, it's right. really, it's like you could parts of it could be in Palm Springs, it could you be know, my house. and then there you go, and then you go off to this island of Dr. Moreau, and it's it's right, it's at a bond, Ooh. it's right out of the 60s, and cool. um, really, really cool. and it's right out of early um, Disneyland. For you know, you got this this monorail thing, and uh -huh. it's there's elements there pulling from a lot of places, and I just think the look and the connect connection between all these parts of uh, these eras together just pulls helps pull it all together. I just love the look. It's just great. Just, just the uh, the transportation of the future is the monorail. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> which was yeah. Which was the whole Walt Disney thing was. The whole point of this totally. was we're going to have monorails. Yeah. We're going to take you everywhere you need to go. Everywhere. <laughs> and, and, all the everywhere. and all the drones or whatever yeah, yeah. those flying things are. Well, now we have drones everywhere. Um, those are a lot bigger and they're more dangerous. But um, yeah, the, the, the look of it is great. You, you Sorry? Want, you, want the music, you want the music factoid? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. 
Okay, so it says here to record the Henry Mancini and John Barry inspired jazz orchestra score, composer Michael Giacchino eschewed standard multi track recording and returned to the analog recording methods used for jazz orchestra recordings in the 60s. We were just like, forget that. Let's throw everyone in the room. Let's pretend we only have three microphones and let's get it right. Let's just do mm. it. So they went wow. old school with the music and it sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. You it know, does. it sounds big, yeah. you know. Oh, it sounds Mike. big bandish. Mike, can you imagine like... if they did this at the man with yeah. the Philadelphia Orchestra? That would <laughs> be the grass. Maybe this will be the next Hollywood one. Bowl. Yeah. Aaron? I'm saying I'm, I'm I was looking something. I they do, little uh, thing they I do a doing. summer concert series here, which they do, I'm sure, everywhere. Yeah, they and do our the orchestra Hollywood plays Bowl. like uh, the Indiana Jones, uh, some John Williams movie tracks, the Godfather track. And they show the movie while their orchestra is playing the actual music, oh. and, it, and it you know it rolls. Mm. You sit on the hill with the, you know, the picnic, and it rolls up over the hill with you. The Warner Brothers a wash of the music. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I haven't gone. I haven't that gone. would be cool. That would be fun. Yeah, we did um, Indiana Jones with the kids. And you could bring wine. You Ooh, bring that's not wine? a bad thing. Just yeah. send me the trucks. address. Send me the address. Philly. <laughs> Man Music Center. Um, we'll I, have a, uh, I have a little list of um, Easter eggs from the movie. Um, Do that tell. are kind of fun. Yeah. Do tell. So um, there's one. It's kind of fun. Is the the at the wedding. Um. All in there, there's one picture in the background of all the who's in the guests. And they're all superheroes from the movie. There is, oh. um, yeah, the Edna sitting in the front row, and so is Gazer Beam. Um, and uh, there's a couple other ones there, I don't know their names though, but uh, she's sitting and Edna's in the front row. And um, John Ratzenberger, we were talking about people, he is the underminer at the very end of the movie, mm -hmm. yes. Yep, he's a yep. lucky charm. He's that's in right. every yeah. Pixar movie. That's Clint he's in every, right? every Pixar movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's in every, but he's in, but his thing is he's in every Pixar movie. Yeah. That's his. That's the mm. the ongoing Easter egg. Yes. Um. Let's see. Uh. What's another good one? There is a studio reference. There's an A. There's an A one one three in some of the video screens in the on the on the uh, on the island, and that's a code for for Pixar. That's Pixar's. Um, hmm. It says block A. I think it says A one and cell block thirteen. That's a that's a Pixar thing, and huh. um, yeah, there's some Iron Giant. Uh, you guys see Iron Giant the movie? That's another I great. Did. And Brad Bird, film. I think, yep. wrote and directed that one, right? Correct. Um, yep. And he had, there's a couple Easter eggs of from Iron Giant in the in the movie um, when Helen is uh, if flying that uh, jet. Um, she began screaming at a series of codes, and one of these seemingly meaningless is India Golf Niner Niner, aka IGG or Iron Giant 1999. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they are very good at this kind of stuff. Yes. They are. Um, you know, and, they, and I think Brad Bird is the only, this is the only movie written and directed by one person. Yes. So he wrote, the script. he wrote the script all on his own and he was the guy. And then directed it. Yeah. And who is he in the movie? Edna. Edna. Do you the know who best... originally read for the script? No. Lily yeah. Lily Tomlin. Lily Tomlin. She's yes. really good at that too, actually. Well, well, and, I think, and this was wow. the, this was I think that's Linda Hunt. That just is Linda Hunt. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, that's not who it was inspired by. No, it's not. It's it's no. Edith Head. Right. It's it's saying, Lily Tomlin was considered for the part of Edna, but turned it down when she heard Brad Bird's vocal performance saying, what do you need me for? You got it already. Yeah. So, which is, you know, true because he yeah. was spectacular. Did, I didn't spectacular. know it was a man. <laughs> yeah, neither did I. I had no idea. What? I had no idea. It was pretty, yeah. it was pretty cool. Cool. Pretty cool. Well, that character alone is worthy of a movie, right? Edna oh God, is. Yeah. So, you know, she's been Obviously, she was part of the superhero thing before the shutdown by the government. Now she's and she's a amazing. She's like, uh, what's the the character in Bond who makes all the the weapons? Oh, uh, oh, uh, Q. 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 So she's like Q, except with a fashion sense, <laughs> and um, <laughs> right. And so she can design. And, oh, Sticks by the way, with the lips, <laughs> and it's machine washable. Um, <laughs> 
So rayon, wait, darling, also, rayon, don't forget it. Breathe like Egyptian cotton. <laughs> <laughs> no capes. No capes. No capes. No capes. Do you no remember capes. Thunderhead? But <laughs> she is much as something something like um uh Bob. She kind of wants to get back in the game too. Totally. Right? So yeah, she here we are, darling. Here she's we probably are. just making <laughs> clothing, designing clothing in this crazy mansion she lives in, but she really wants to make superhero clothing. So when the opportunity arises, she jumps in. She is all for Bob seeking out his his um, his dream and and letting uh, Bob's wife, what's her, what's her name? Helen. Bob's wife, Helen. Helen, to, hey, this is a good thing. You should do this too. This is a it's a good thing for you and your family. Do it. Jump in. Oh, here's here's oh, clothing for you. Here's the full Edna quote about the, about getting back in the game. Milan, darling, Milan. Supermodels. Ha! Nothing super about them. Spoiled stupid little stick fingers with poofy lips who think only about themselves. Ha! I used to design for gods. <laughs> <laughs> and, she's, that's, and she's pushed off to the side, and she's uh, just she's kind of just like. Rolling with till the till till her, her she's at the end of the uh, at the end of the string here, and now she can get back into the game too, and, and, and it's great. And Bob Bob brings her the suit to get patched, and she's calling it a hobo suit, and he said, "But you designed this," and she said, "I never look back." Only <laughs> <laughs> okay. forward. It distracts me That's from right. the now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is so great, and you know it's it's all. Bob, uh, Bob Bird? Brad Bird. Brad Bird. Brad Bird. Brad Bird. Brad Bird. Oh, Brad Bird. spectacular. Actually, that was so one of the best good. Oscar moments when they had Edna Moan come out and do, I think, the animation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. All three foot I, nine ever. Oh, it was great. It was great. It was so well done. That was so fun. I don't, I've don't. i given up on the Oscars, but that is that is a memorable moment. Uh, just to remind everyone, this given is... On the, the Oscars. What? Sorry. My wife hasn't. She's still but, into it. She just wants to make cocktails and snacks. Yeah, she wants. It's it's Come a on. night. It's a night of wine, cheese, and crackers. What did I say? What did I say? Mostly it's a perfect wine. excuse. That's right. It's a perfect excuse. I respect right. that. That's good. That's all good. the award for, shows. All the award shows are the way in this house. Yes. Yeah. Can we get like fans? Uh, just a reminder. This is the What We Watch When We uh, Drink podcast, and we've got a special guest, Joanne McGinnis, all the ways from Canada, joining Canada. us to talk about. Whiskey and the Incredibles. Does anyone know what movie this is in the list? What number movie is in this um, on the Pixar list? First, second, oh, third, twelfth. Mean... Yeah. Uh, when did it come? Well, they were probably doing one a year at that point. Toy Story was the first, right? The first big one. Toy number Story nine, was number maybe? one. Like number nine. Number six. Bingo! It is six. Well six. done. It is six. six. What do I win? I'm going to say six. Bob, Frank, you win a I glass win? of whiskey. Yay! That's right. You get to pour yourself some more whiskey. I will do that. Mm, the first know. one. The first one was Toy Story. Anyone got a guess on number two? Nemo. No. Uh -oh. Nope. Oh, Nemo was Inc. right before The Incredibles. Wall-E. Monsters. No, Wall-E was somewhere. much later. Monsters. Is but we are we are very close. I think you won't. I think number two is going to be hard to find, hard to get. Oh. Cars. No, nope. Cars was much later. Cars is right after. Cars is right after the. Yes, girls. yes, it is because they have some characters in, in, the Incredibles that actually end up in Cars. You're right. It is Toy Story, A Bug's Life. Oh, oh A Bug's yeah. Life. That's a good one. Which is another great movie. That's uh, a good Toy one. Toy Story Two, Monsters Inc., Finding Nemo, and then The Incredibles. Hmm. That's, oh, a ten year, that's a 10 year that's a 10 year uh uh era there 95 you know is? is toy story that's how you get a four billion dollar buyout from disney that's how you do it yeah that's, that's how, how you it. get even richer cool. if you're uh steve jobs yeah that's yes right. that's yes right. yes yeah well and it, uh, that, what's that guy john lasseter he was one of the founders right? john lasseter john yeah. lasseter yep yep yeah and then he went with them to keep making movies uh when he went to disney yeah, um, the cars, I think. Then, then, uh, then you rest on your laurels, and all you make are cars, Ratatouille, Wally, -E, Wally, -E and Up. Is that all? Yeah. Is that all you got? Another, that four, it? another four fantastic then, yeah. movies. Although I gotta yeah. say, the wow. last ten years, I've kind of, uh, kind of been it's, like, eh. 
It's a, it's been a slog the last ten years, I'd say. It has. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of sequels. So. Yeah. Well, and it's, I mean, some it's are better Disney than others. And Disney's, Disney's looking for content now. They're not looking for like yeah. quality. So it's, I'm not, I'm not so, surprised after. No, so I gotta say rash. though, the four Toy Story movies, they're all excellent. Faces. They are. Yes. Yeah. They're all Aces. excellent. They're just, they're all really, really good. Yep. So. Yep. Yep. Well, and I don't think it really, really goes south until you get into what, the last, like you said, the last ten years, maybe even less than that actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because Toy Story Four is 2019, so it's only five years ago. Right. Yeah. Right. So, and even, like you said, Incredibles Two, 2018. That's 2018. eight years, yeah. six years ago. That was yeah. really good too, though. All right. Okay. So maybe yeah. it's just hit or miss. Maybe I think it's yeah. just. But most of all, they they put out a pretty quality product. Yeah. 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 Um anyone changing whiskey? Anyone I'm got any changing other whiskey. What I'm are you changing, changing to? I well, I had number two. Now I've got number one on the oh. whiskey advocate list. Glenn Glassaw. Is that how you say it? That's how Glassa. I said it. Glenn Glassa. Glenn Glassa. This Glenn is the Glassa. sand end or sand yeah, sand end. It this is number one on the whiskey advocate list. Also got a ninety five. This is fifty point five percent. So wow, I'll, I'll let you know. That's a hefty. I'm hefty. Being through my little sample there. You're going into that. You're reaching into the grab bag. I listen to the grab bag. The grab bag. Oh, Ooh. my buddy Graham from Graham. Glen Murray, originally Glen Murray, and then went to Dingle. Just left Dingle. Graham Cool. Was he, was he a Glen he Murray? Left, he was a Glen Murray. That's when we, then we met him in when I was in Scotland 10 years ago. And oh, then okay. he Name left before. to go to Dingle, to run Dingle. He just announced last week that he's leaving Dingle. Him and his wife, Faye, they um, they were going back to Scotland. I think, I'm not sure if he's going to the distillery or some big, something else. But uh, I'm going to have a little bit of Dingle. Um, so cheers to the Cools. There's thing, there's, yeah, the Cools. The single malt. He name dropped Sam purpose. earlier. So oh, I did, did. I did name drop. Well, Sam. that's the second you're one. Right. Yes, you're right. You're right. yes you're I did. Right. I did. Right. I had to because I may be seeing uh, Sam soon. So I may be seeing Sam at the end. Of if you're it. if you're playing at home, too. That's right. <laughs> so drink twice. It's two. It's two. So drink, drink twice. twice. Yeah. Take a shot don't, every time the West Coast name drops. Don't. So do you guys? Middle yet? Can't so do what do you guys have? Do you have a theory? Do you have your own theory on the on the Pixar theory that all these movies are are there's a larger story going on? Have you ever heard this this story? Do you know this? No, but I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm, nope. uh, why, why does it have to be? Why can't they just be their own little things? The, well, That's kind of how I feel. Can be, but don't. Do you think that the that Pixar and Lassiter and um, even Steve Jobs had this grander theory in mind when they were started doing this stuff? No, I think they're all jumping so? on the. Uh, I think they're all jumping on the uh, Marvel the, cinematic universe and just. Yeah, kind of it's all it's all connected. Yeah, right. Okay, so you whatever. think so? You think just fanboys have figured this kind of made made these connections on their own? Sure, why not? I mean, it's fun. Okay. Why not? It's fun. Why not? It's fun. Yeah, why not hypothesize and come up with all kinds of nonsense? Make things? it all connect sure. together. Yeah, because it's a lot of work to get the continuity going. That's twenty five years, man. That's that's. It's all I know it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yes, I mean, don't but you think they, they don't they put enough effort into just making the damn movies? I mean, it's and like, not trying to connect them all it, together. Yeah, okay, so uh, riddle me this, Batman. Speak to me, Elastigirl. Who, who are who are the Fantastic Four, and what what who do they belong to? Aren't they Marvel? Are they or Marvel? Are they that's that's Marvel. Mike, you're they the. Uh, they're, they're, they're. I think they're part of Sony, so Marvel didn't do much with them because they don't own them, and now they're okay. making the fourth try to make a Fantastic Four movie, and it'll still be. Crappy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. So, so that was one of the little factoids I found when I first when when we first decided that we were doing the Incredibles. I was like just kind of reading, you know, fandom sites, Wikipedia, and the interweb, and everything else that I yeah. could find. And uh, there was a lot of people that said there were similarities to the Fantastic Four that, like, yeah, each, sure. each family sure. member had very similar <laughs> powers, and. I don't know what era Fantastic Four is from, but it would make sense if Brad Bird is from the area where he would have read maybe that. I don't know. I mean, 
let's let's look at our numerology charts and figure out if Mercury was rising in the <laughs> Venus uh, Aquarius area and figure out what else we can find. You know, Is with regards to Jack Jack or yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, either Jack Jack or Frozone maybe was have their, their. I don't know. Let's just figure it out. Let's just do it right here, right now. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Give me your best shot. What's oh, your my. best conspiracy theory? Come on. He, you're the comic guy. Speak. Well, there's only so many superpowers a person can have, so they got to figure out who's going to be what. And what usually the super stretchy person is played for comic relief. Oh. And and like uh, the Fantastic Four, that super stretchy person is the brains of the operation. Absolutely. So, you know, Helen gets to be the brains of the operation, so you kind of go one way or the other with it. Yeah. Yep. So that would be Mister uh, Mister Fantastic. That's Mister Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. Oh, and, I like it. And you would get the like the giant, uh, not so bright guy, would be the thing. Yes. Right here. That would, <laughs> right here. And that would be Mister right Incredible. So Mister Incredible. He's not really. Oh, that's with hilarious. Everything. That's pretty accurate, actually. Not really cooking. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Violet is the powers oh, of the Invisible Storm. Woman. She's the powers of Sue Storm. Yeah. So. And, and the only one that's cool. off is, is uh, uh, Dash is the Flash, not the Human Torch. He doesn't, you know, ignite. That's Jack Jack. But then Jack Jack does. So you yes. kind of throw both of them in there. And Yeah, I think so. uh, the, that was from the 60s, I believe, from, from yeah. Marvel. Uh, from, uh, yeah, Marvel's which movies. is yeah. when the movie yeah. is About when this is supposed right? to be yeah. seen. So, yes. Exactly. So that's you're, why you're, poaching, like, you're poaching powers. Mm. It's not too far yeah. off. Yeah. No. I think it's I believe it's an homage to yeah. to the Fantastic Four, I think. Yeah, to um, the comics that maybe kids would have read in that era, maybe. I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, and the people totally. with powers that are, you know, somebody's got laser eyes, gazer beam, yep. you know, their mirage can touch things and make them, you know, disappear, which is Correct. a useless superpower, but it's still a superpower, and yeah. that's what she does. Yeah. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so who's, who's Frozone? Mr. Frozone oh. in the DC universe, there's a there's several characters who are Captain Cold or Mr. Freeze or something Mr. along Freeze. those lines. Yeah. That has usually not their own ice powers, but some sort of machine helps them make whatever the powers are. True. And in this case, he can do it on his own as long as there's water in the air. Okay. I'm thirsty. I'm just yeah. thirsty. <laughs> having a drink. Thirsty. Freeze. I need a drink. Please. Someone cry! Um, Hurry! <laughs> yeah. And and you have a really good uh, list of trivia that you came up with. Well, I gave you a couple. I already I already yeah. spat it yeah, out good. a few. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of other literally. Really okay, so here's one. Let's see. So Factoid Jason number Lee, four. Back to number four. Well, I'm actually going to go back to number one. So oh, okay. Jason Lee recorded his lines in four days, while Craig T. Nelson recorded his lines over the span of two years. Wow. That's got to be so. I, I don't even know how they do it. I really don't. It's just crazy. How I don't do know it. how you you play off of no one. It's just some Green other screen. person running lines with you. You're not even acting against like Holly yes. Hunter's not saying the lines to you. And no, yeah, acting man. I don't know I, how they do it. It's They're good, pros. It's good think, acting. Yeah, yeah. Good. Acting. I think more. I think there's more now acting in the same room. Yeah. Than there once was, mm -hmm. um, but also during COVID, a lot of this was done. Individually, I, this friend of mine who's a voice actress, she um, she has a studio in her house, and it's all she records in her house. And it's just the file goes to wherever New York City or someplace right. or L.A. And, and she's not, and she, it's, she does stuff for video games, uh, Call of Duty, and things. Um, shout out to Jen Wong. Um, so it, it's done lots of different ways. That's right, three, and uh, <laughs> it's done lots of different ways. But it's got to be weird when there's no human with you. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be strange to yeah. be an actor that way. Yeah. Well, well, they say it's the same th same kind of thing when they do all the green screen stuff. Yep. With uh, you know, even when they're acting with Mark Ruffalo, when he's the Hulk, they have like this apparatus on his head to put a tennis ball on a pole, and they tell people, "Look at the tennis ball, not at Mark, because he's going to mm -hmm. be." 12 feet tall oh, and you have there. to look at that and not look right. at him. We need your so eyes. They're somewhere. still acting together, but th they're not. You're, you're yeah. talking to a tennis ball. <laughs> Just so strange. Which is much like life. 
It's a well. I wish I was talking to a tennis ball. <laughs> you, know you, need? you need a Wilson. You need a Wilson. I, I can't even get that kind of response back. You, you need a Wilson. <laughs> you could be like Tom Hanks and uh, you know what's it called? Castaway. 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 Yeah, yeah. We all need a Wilson. I'm gonna go get Please the basketball. Please send deflated volleyballs to Mike's home address at seven seven seven. I could just throw them at his house. <laughs> I could just throw them at his house. I got a couple of soccer balls. I could just throw them at his house. I could do that. I could do it right now. You want to hear the window break? He'll accept Crash. COD, please, everyone that's COD is right. watching. That's send right. them to him. Send you... deflated volleyball. Always great to have you on, really. I it know, right? Oh, yeah, it's always a pleasure. Always great to have you I on. was She's... advised that April the 10th was pick on Mike Day, so... Oh, yeah. Hey, Since the last few hey, times you've been on, I've basically insulted Canada the entire you? time. Yeah. I guess I it's only fair. Yeah, but it's I your said. turn. Yeah. It's Pay your back. turn. Payback. Payback. Just... More factoids? Sure. More, factoids. More, factoids. More factoids. Okay. Samuel L. Jackson was cast as the voice of Frozone because Brad Bird wanted the character to have the coolest voice. And uh, success. He does. Success. He does. Oh God. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. Empty bottle. Bottle kill for uh, Mr. Incredible. Let's see. Uh, Brad Bird got the idea for this movie in the early 90s, basing the story on his own experiences, trying to balance a career with family. Because uh, he's a see. superhero? I had no idea. <laughs> well, he kind of is. I've seen a couple of his movies. He's pretty super. Uh, here we go. I watched him I watched him in an interview about that, actually. He kind of felt like he was one of the first Mr. Moms. Like, his wife was working full-time, and he was relegated a lot to taking care of the children as well. So I think, uh -huh. like, yeah, I, I can see the, like, yeah, yeah I can yeah. see that. Trying to balance yeah. everything. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What else we got here? Uh, in the beginning of the film. When a robber is going through a woman's purse on the roof of a building, a Mr. Incredible Pez dispenser can be seen amongst the items scattered on the ground. <laughs> Apparently. Let's see. We also mentioned that this is, you know, just written by one person. Uh, the movie lines, you slide dog, you got me monologuing, was voted as the number 15 of the 100 greatest movie lines by Premiere yeah. in, 20, in 2007. That and the delivery of that, Jason Lee, spectacular. Perfection. You slide dog. I don't know. That was funny. That was funny. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, we did that. Uh, I mentioned the Incredibles theme song, Frozone's aftershave, high karate, a real <laughs> brand of aftershave oh. from the from the sixties and seventies. Yeah. Right. right, right. That's all I got. There was, there was a lot more, but there were some that were just like, eh, whatever. What do you got there? Hi, karate? You karate? Yes. You karate chopping? Was everybody kung fu fighting? Is that what we're doing? Yes. Let's all do it at the same time. Ready? One, two, three, go. I would, but I, I, I'm no longer fast as lightning. Sure you are. <laughs> sure you are. Quick I'm whip. just a little bit frightening. More than, well, <laughs> more than a little bit. Not even, okay. not even after you've had burritos? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh Jesus, Jesus! Everyone, everyone looked away. What's wrong with you three? Jeez, a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> this is why we don't invite Canada on very much. Can't I know, Aaron. right? We're all I like don't that, get apparently. invited often. I'm Can't hear Aaron. Things. What happened to Aaron's voice? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you muted again? No. Uh oh. He's no, he's not. not. Technical difficulty. Yeah, yeah he's go. fine. Technical difficulty. He had nothing to say anyway. No showing any nipples. He's a. He's like a muppet. Beaker, oh like <laughs> yes, Beaker? and honeydews working with him. Beaker, are you I back, my friend? Beaker, he's not back. You're not back. No, oh no, no, no. Oh no! Oh, this is no. back again. This is the disaster portion of the pod. This is the editing feature right here. There's no editing. Is this what happens to, no to, live, to live television? Oh ah, well, television. what can you do? Hey, I was watching a live stream the other day, and it kept happening. This guy kept blanking out. I think it was the uh, the Anthony Gargano show. Oh no! no. Guy kept like blanking out, not him, but his guest kept oh. blanking out. So, Darn. Um, yeah, but we like this movie. How do we like our whiskey? That's the question. I really enjoyed the Kentuckton Creek. This was something that you had gotten and you divvied up the bottles. Yes. And this yes. was the last of the uh, their Roundstone Rye, which uh -huh. was a 2018 double gold winner at the New York World Spirits Convention. Hmm. What did you yeah. like about it? Please do tell. I'm not a huge fan of rye whiskey. I find there's an oh. odd, like, peppery sharpness to it, mm -hmm. which 
is is to me sometimes like a like a one note dare, which you try to make it sharper than the last guy, and it's just too sharp for me. Okay. And I well, think this is really well rounded, the round stone. And uh, sharp as a bowling. The ball. The only thing I would like a little it, it's at forty uh, percent. If it was a little higher ABV, I think I would like it a little more. Mm. But but you had your pick. I you, I that one. you had your choice. You always get first dibs. No, no, no. I'm saying if they if they bottled this uh -huh. at a higher ABV, they do. I would really like it. They no, do. The, not the round stone. That they yes, call they it something do. else. No, they call it something else. They don't call it They're this. Just, do it, they? was it was like the distiller's edition, which I think is the next step up. Then there's the cast strength. Then there's the bottled and bond. Right. Now, what I mean is if they rolled this out, uh -huh. their base, and started at a higher level. Not the distiller's edition or this or that or the other. Just this. And started everybody above that. Sure. I'd like it better. Okay. I actually saying? understand it's what soft. he's saying. If the bar rail version was at a higher ABV, yeah. he'd be happy. I'd be happier. But then it wouldn't yeah. be on the bar rail anymore, would it? Mm. It, would earn its, it would earn its seat on the back bar. And then it's a none a drum a done the drum. And if they were all cast strength, then none of them would be. No, wait, that's that doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, He's still out. I still can't hear Aaron. Powers. Nobody. I don't. I don't remember something, something about that. Can't hear you. <laughs> can't hear you. What? Hey, watch your language. Ooh, we, I we saw that. that. We I, heard I that. We heard that. Oh yeah. You know, it'd be great if, if he starts like going on a tirade and then the vo and the volume just kicks in. Volume. Oh. I don't know. I think this is the best contributions he's ever he's ever had to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Every man for himself. It's very libertarian. <laughs> you're like Dean Smith holding uh, Michael Jordan under twenty game. <laughs> you're, you're 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 the editor. Oh, you have a technical difficulty. Uh, sure I'm he really does. Going up and look, look, look. No hands. Am I back? Cool, you're back. Oh, you're back. Are. Oh my there god. No. Oh my so god! As soon, as, language, as, soon as you say I'm not doing anything, then he's back again. See, oh, see, I'm see. back. And the I'm plot back. thickens. Mm -hmm. I'm trying well, not to pluck hairs out of my beard because I the last time I watched the video, that's all I was doing. I'm like trying not to do that. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Well, nervous ticks. I think we've kind of we've kind of like dissected this one pretty well. I think, right? Yes, we did. This is a it's a great movie, and I love the the overall enthusiasm of this quartet of us loving this movie oh. if there wasn't any like you know i don't know i wish they uh i wish they bottled this one at 44 no, percent instead there was none of that it was, this is this is perfect <laughs> this is a perfect movie right i wish you know it was, was in black and white you know what was cool too in the beginning when they're doing you know when they had the interviews and they're talking to yeah. each one individually yeah. You know, yeah. and they're like the film stocks a little different, like it was on like the old yes. square yep. TV, yep. all those yes. little details, the yeah. music, just everything, the title sequence, the end credits, spectacular. And, all and of it. I still yep. think the senator that rails about them, that's Hillary Clinton. Oh. Is that, what do you mean? Well, yours is 2004. I just yeah. I think if you look at Could the be. at the person and the gesturing and the, the way she looks, I swear that's Hillary Clinton. Just, Interesting. They modeled maybe. that character after Hillary Clinton. I'm that gonna go back really and watch funny. it again now. Hmm. Bet you they could find that on the internet somewhere. Probably. I bet. I bet. Speaking of which, um, we were talking about the suicide portion yes. yeah. of Disney, yes. whether or not blah blah blah. So yeah. when the film actually, I found a, I found a little factoid of my own. When the film actually aired on the Disney Channel, Dash's lines were all of a sudden he screams like, "We're dead! We're dead!" and we survived, <laughs> but we're dead. Was actually cut from the Disney Channel. Wow. Really? Oh, huh. That's interesting. Ha. Huh. Huh. So chances are the Disney Channel, well, but not Disney Plus necessarily. Nope, just Disney Channel for broadcast. Uh, that's a good question. Well, I mean, that's just I guess the regular, like when they, when they do it on on cable, I guess. The, the right, other thing and maybe that's the thing. It's cable. Did did we even have streaming services back then in 2004? I don't no, think so. No, not yet. Well, that's the first, right? No. And that was probably like 2000. No. That, wasn't, that was CDs back then, or yeah. DVDs. Yeah, yeah, DVDs. Good old mail order. Exactly. Yeah. The, the other thing I like is, for a penny. That, is that each person's powers <laughs> saved right. the day. Right. It wasn't just somebody with powers. Yes. was like, hey, thanks. Thanks for being here, Robin. You're the best. <laughs> no. Glad you're here. Try not yeah. to die in the next fight. <laughs> it was a team right. effort. Yeah. It was a, t a family effort. Family it effort. And family a effort. Yeah. yeah. Right. It really it actually, all pulled family. together. It's about family. It is about family. 
Yeah. I also like yeah. the little like limo ride on the way back home. They're just kind of like Jack is Jack Jack is not Jack Jack. Dash is all just Dash. happy and you yeah. know. Yeah. That was the yeah. best vacation ever. He's so excited. <laughs> yes. And then and then after that, when it's like we're back in the real world and and they're all together as a family at Dash's track meet. Yeah. And yeah, you know, it's they're they're bonding together as a as a group. <laughs> Not too much. Slow down. No, speed up. Slow down. No, speed up. Yes. Don't be no. mediocre. Be mediocre. Okay, you're good. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, we have to blend in still. What's interesting is there's an old Superman where Superman's father, Superman is a high school student playing on the football team. And Superman's father has to have the talk to him to say, you can't Chill. be Superman on the football field. That's not fair. So you're allowed to be better yeah. than everybody, but not that much better than everybody. Right. And you see in the whole little track meet, like you can win, but you can't win by the just, yeah. Just, just, but just, right. but just make, it make it close. Make it close. Yeah. Don't humiliate everybody. Just you know. A yeah. close second. I got you. Well, Story of my life. Was... Don't humiliate everybody close. else. Story of my That's life. Right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Don't make everybody look like crap. For God's sake. <laughs> I had thought that Canadians were overly polite. Fuck Where no. in Canada I mean, is oh, this oh, Elastic oh, Girl? Oh, oh. It's, oh. Such a, it's such a cliche. There's the first F bomb. <laughs> Come on, hockey's from first. Canada. And that's, that's, not <laughs> that's not polite. No, it's not. <laughs> Hockey <laughs> is not polite at all. No. Actually, isn't me, isn't lacrosse yeah. also a Canadian sport? Yes, lacrosse is actually yeah. a Native American sport. or yeah. or what do they call it? First peoples, First Nations, First well, Nations. We call, them, we call them Indigenous at this point. Indigenous, um, Indigenous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's definitely. I think yeah. it's Canada's national sport. It's not Ottawa. Uh, it's not Ottawa. Oh God, it's not hockey. It's not hockey. It's oh. uh, it's lacrosse. lacrosse. Interesting. You're up playing it's lacrosse. It's and that's nasty. Organized girl. violence. Yes, girl. You give I a have, oh, I speaking have, of that, I went to a USA first. Canada game that they did in Philly years ago, probably like 30 years Hockey, ago. Uh, la lacrosse? lacrosse. I have lacrosse stars. It was USA yes. Canada. And all I remember is that yes. like the Canadian guy kept like cross checking the American guy, kept cross checking him, kept cross checking him. American guy drops his gloves. Canadian guy did nothing. The crowd went ballistic. They're throwing <laughs> sodas. They're throwing chairs. <laughs> it was. I insane. never. Heard there, there's fighting in lacrosse. Is that a there thing? Was fighting at this game. Oh hell yeah! Wow. There oh, was yeah, fighting at this game. Yep. Wow. Because it's yeah, almost it gone was, from hockey. It was. No all I remember wow. is like the security guards going into this one section. They just that went was, nuts. It was just was a. The, it uh, was. You know what it was? It was a Philadelphia moment. That was. That was the story with Jim Brown. That if oh, he lacrosse, played he played lacrosse. If, if, if he could have made as much money playing yeah. lacrosse as playing football, he would have played right. lacrosse. He would have played and, lacrosse. And people would yeah. talk about how brutal he was playing football, and the lacrosse players would say, "You get to wear all of that protective gear. We just took that angry man and we gave him a stick." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is, this, don't come talking to me about how football is so tough. <laughs> a metal yeah. stick. A he metal stick. stick. True. <laughs> like. <laughs> The original yes. ones were wood, but yes. But they're metal. Are you saying if you get hit but by a wooden stick, it would hurt less? Uh, a metal stick hurts way more than yeah. a wooden stick. And, and it can move hard. faster. Uh, yeah. Um, With more force, it's hard. Yeah. It hurts. I played lacrosse it, it, until I was probably 17 or 18. And then uh, it's like, I've got scars in places you can't imagine <laughs> playing lacrosse. Are there, a, are there adult leagues for uh, yep. lacrosse? There is. Well, look at that. Yep. Yep. It's never too late. Get out there. And then the Boy, court no, suggested right. you stop playing lacrosse. Is that what happened? It was adjudicated your <laughs> retirement. Is that what happened? Sent her. She. They sent her right to pickleball. It's all part oh, of the NBA. No, 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 no. no, no, no. They, they sent her right to picklebacks. Yeah, picklebacks. Picklebacks. Pickle pickle right pickle yeah. pickle no pickleball. Skip pickle right over. Pickleball. Pickle Pass pickleback. pickleball and go right to pickleback. Yes, it's I much more a, active. Picklebacks are much more. Firm belief active. that pickleball is a cult, and I have no interest in. It Even is a frightening really, cult here, too. Yes. It's, it's, really, it's going really to be an Olympic sport, I assure you. You Oof. are. I'm saying it here and now. May it be recorded. Let it be said. Let it be done. Let it happen. It will happen. It's okay. going to be an Olympic sport. Probably when, what is it? Probably when they had the podcast games, we're there. <laughs> That's right. We'd win that. Hands down. Would we? Would we? we would. We have a tough time, I think, with Sierra Leone and the uh, small nation of uh, Zambia, but I think we can do hold our own with everybody else. How about Bonnaroo? Those guys are those are great at podcasts. Netherlands would kick your ass. 
<laughs> Netherlands are pretty good. They 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 are they are very talented. They're straight that, shooters. So, they don't yes. hold back. They just say no. What's they don't hold they back. Do you know, they not hold back. Yeah. They are Tell very good at really talking. Think. Yeah, I just they, did. They just, what are you talking there's about? No, there's no yeah. sugar to coat anything? Is that what you're saying? No. No. There's no sugar, sugar to coat. Sugar. They just no go. Sugar. They just go, go, go. Right. Well, this has been an, an entertaining hour plus on the What We Watch When We Drink podcast. Oh. The Incredibles on an incredible night of whiskey and chattery. And uh, what else have we done? Chattery. 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 Let's, uh, let's let's go once around and talk about the whiskey. So I talked about mine. What did you? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy oh, well, our last? Yes, uh, I should add my my last one was I should have probably started with, but I was using my little box of samples from God knows when. This Dingle Single Malt was really really good, forty six percent, just a solid solid single malt Irish, very good. Highly recommend it. So you can get mm. it. It's hard to find in, in in the United States, I think. I liked it, and I and the other my my other two ones were really good too. The uh, single malts of Scotland's Ardmore and the um, uh, Altmore Thirty, just delicious. Thank you to Jason Joshua for that one. Single mm. cast station four, four, five four. and six really. Yeah. Uh, well, that's all right. I'm I'm done. I'm done counting. I'm done counting. Joe, how about you? How was how, you was, how were your libations? My libations, I stuck with the same one because uh, I just okay. kind of felt, I really felt homey this this evening for whatever reason and just needed some comfort whiskey. And so I I stuck comfort with my whiskey. original choice. I know, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. I stuck with my like original. A warm blanket? Uh, a warm, like a warm blanket? blanket. Yeah, yeah. Like my, my little, it. you know. A, bear a polar bear rug? A little polar bear rug? Polar bear wrap? That's not what it's all about. <laughs> it's um, not what it's all about. No. Well, no, so you're Atlantic provinces, so it would actually be like yeah. a seal pelt. It would. Yeah. It would. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, downriver whiskey <laughs> made by Moonshine Creek and 47% uh, ABV, 100% beautiful <clears throat> organic grain aged in a virgin oak barrel, which usually I do not care for, but the minute I tasted this whiskey, I really, really enjoyed it. So and, it's a non uh, they can be a little harsh, them virgin oaks. They can be a little it, harsh. It can be, but these guys have, they have, uh, what they do is they buy them, they don't buy them from, I don't want to say distributors. Virginia? The word. No, they don't buy them from there either. They buy them from directly from cooperages, which I think might make the difference. So they get to pick uh, the ones that they really like. They hmm. pick anywhere from a light char all the way to an alligator char. And they're doing a fantastic job of representing my province, I think, across are Canada. There, are them. there many cooperages in Canada? They're getting it from an American cooperage. Oh, okay. um, I don't know which one, but the barrels are phenomenal. They really are. Uh, they've had a lot of what they call honey barrels. And uh, mm -hmm. it, they're 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 doing really great for uh, a first time distillery. And if you want to look them up, they're not far from the longest coverage bridge, longest covered bridge in the world in Hartford, New mm. Brunswick. Wow! Yeah. Can yeah, you yeah. take those barrels over the falls? Yes. <laughs> no. What fault? Which no. falls? No. 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 <laughs> Be a great gimmicky whiskey, though, wouldn't it? Niagara Falls barrel of whiskey. There you go. Oh, that'd, that'd be interesting. Oh, it? someone has had to do that already. I'm... You, get, yeah, you, I'm you throw the the fill barrols over the falls. So you get that extra added? extra time agitation. Something Surface like area. That. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. All right. See. So, so By the way, go. Niagara Falls, Canada. Just as a factoid, Niagara Falls, Canada called a state of emergency a full week before the totality of a solar eclipse in Canada. Just to say, like how. Bizarro, some of our stuff was during hmm. interesting. Huh. <clears throat> well, interesting. Interesting. And Ange, what did you drink? Uh, well, I had the Highland Park, the yes. cast strength. You had the two had best whiskeys of the year. Well, that's what they're saying. But I think I went the wrong order, though, because I think because I had the Highland Park first, I think it overpowered the other one. No. So I don't have an opinion on the Glen Glassaw because the Highland Park was quite, quite the whiskey. I like that one. Nice mouthfeel, sixty-four percent. Not really that hot, Oof. but nice and oily, that hot. like sweet. Okay. Ah, that was good. <laughs> that was good, Mike. We're gonna review these. We're okay. gonna review these soon. And I just got a bottle of bourbon in the mail today, so we got some work to do in the next couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, they were really good. 
the Glenn Glass saw, I'm going to leave my opinion, like, because I don't know. It's hard to say. I think one overpowered the other. So, you know. Okay. That's kind of how I felt about it. But the Highland Park, that was pretty good. It's all fair. There you go. Whiskey. That's what we what got. Happened? Oh. So an incredible whiskey, list of whiskeys. A good movie. Good whiskey. Great movie. An incredible movie, uh, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. Pretty good group. guest, right? Incredible guest, I'd yeah. say. Yeah, she's all right. Not, if you not like that sort of thing. thing. If you no. like that sort of thing. Well, you know. I did, I did not like that sort of thing today. <laughs> hey, 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 Elastic. Hey. Yeah, exactly. Stomp on his head a couple times. There you go. Hit him with a bottle of whiskey. Doink, doink, doink. Bonk, bonk, bonk. That'd be great if he could just like pour Cartoon with, noise. Pour cartoon water noise. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, that'd be good. But anyway. oh, wait, don't waste the whiskey. Don't uh, waste the whiskey. Don't waste the whiskey. I said water. Just use the bottle. <laughs> use ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you think, there, Aaron? We're gonna, we're gonna. I think we it? we did it. We did it. We did it. So this will be out on a uh, podcast shortly. Um, so watch for it on all your booze dancing sources, like boozedancing.com. Um, we will meet again soon soon enough before we you know it we'll have uh another movie and some whiskey together or, or some tv to chat with don't forget those cards and letters and uh we will see you soon and ms mcginnis thank you very much for it joining us again thank you namaste. thank you gentlemen as namaste. always namaste 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 namaste, namaste. All right. hang around take, take gonna, us out my friend i'm gonna take us out don't go off. anywhere joe nope. you have a few more insults for mike R write them down oh absolutely she's yeah she's they're already written down <laughs> All right, gonna hit the credits. Cheers, folks. <laughs>